So today we're going to take a look at how to solve a problem where we are subtracting integers. Now as we've talked about previously, an integer is any whole number, positive, negative, or zero. Zero not being positive or negative. So any whole number, negative three would be an integer. Uh, 15 would be an integer. Negative 1347 would be an integer. Zero would be an integer. So today we're looking at subtracting integers, which means that we could be subtracting positive and negative numbers. So today we have the problem negative 3 minus negative 4. Now when we looked at this, it looked a little bit confusing because you're actually subtracting a negative number. So the thing that we need to keep in mind is this subtraction sign, we can really think of it as the opposite of. So for example, if someone has three pencils, then you have a positive three. You, you gained three of something at some point. However, if you put a subtraction sign in front of it, that means that you're losing three pencils. So really you're doing the opposite of three. You're taking away three pencils. So we can think about the same thing when we have a problem like this. So we have the subtraction sign, which just means the opposite of. So whenever we do this, we're going to do the opposite of negative four. So let's start out by thinking about this on a number line. So if we have our number line, okay, we know that we're working with positives and negatives. So we're probably going to want to do start at zero in the middle. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and negative six. So whenever we do a problem like this, we know we're always going to start at zero. In this case, our first number is negative three, negative meaning that we're going backwards. So we're going to go back to three spaces, one, two, three. So right now we're on negative three. Now, this is where that opposite of comes in handy because we see a negative four. Normally a negative four would mean that we're continuing to go backwards four spaces. But in this case, we're doing the opposite of that. The opposite of going backwards four spaces is going forward four spaces. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go forward one, two, three, four spaces, and we end up on one. So we know that our answer to negative three minus negative four would just be one. Now let's take a look at another way to solve that. So if we have negative three minus negative four, Again, we're going to start with our negative three and we're going to leave it exactly the way it is. Now we can change our sign. We can do the opposite. The opposite of subtraction is addition. However, if you change your sign, that also means that you need to change your number after it as well. Okay? Because what we're doing is uh, subtracting negative four means that we're doing the opposite of going backwards four. So we're really going forward for another way to show that we're going forward four spaces is by putting a plus sign instead. We're going plus four spaces. So we can change this to a plus. We have to change this number to its opposite. So negative four becomes four. And now we have to go back to where we're adding a positive and a negative number. So in order to solve this, we have to find the absolute value of each number. So the absolute value of negative three is 3, the absolute value of 4 is 4, and now we have to find the difference between the numbers, so we're going to subtract them. We're going to take away the smaller number from the larger number, so the smaller number is 4, or the larger number is 4, so we have 4, our smaller number is 3, so we have 4 minus 3, which equals 1. And now to determine whether this number is going to be a positive or a negative, we're going to look back at our original problem, negative 3 plus 4. So we check to see which number is larger. In this case, 4 is larger than negative 3, and it was a positive, so our answer is going to stay a positive. So our answer for negative, four, or negative 3 minus negative 4 would just be 1. 